Hi, I'm Sarah London. I like science because it's amazing, it's super interesting, and also science is basically just giving you all these tools as humans to help solve problems that we've created or that just exist. I was actually, I used to always say that I wanted to go into chemistry and business because I wanted to create a makeup line, but then I realized there's so many makeup lines that exist already, but there's so many diseases that haven't been cured yet, so it just, it made sense. Where I am right now in terms of my future is that I've made sure to take kind of all the prerequisites I need in high school for any courses I want to take in university, so I could potentially do whatever I want. I got a job this summer at a science lab, which will hopefully give me a step up going into science in the future. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I want, what courses I want to take or anything like that, but I'm interested in everything and I, I just want to try as much as I can. <laughs> Math was really difficult for me in elementary school and science as well. Um, and then I don't think it was until high school that I was really like, I'm interested in this. And you realize that just because you're not good at science in middle school or high school doesn't mean that you can't work hard and excel in it as you go on. I took grade 12 pre-cal twice. The first time I barely passed. And I think too many girls and just anyone in general bases what they think they're smart about on high school courses. I might not have done great in physics or chemistry, but I'm still interested. When I was little, I was super shy. I wouldn't talk to anyone. I hated strangers. I was super, super quiet. And then in elementary school, I started um, taking theater classes, um, which helped a lot. It totally changed who I was or maybe revealed who I was. It's done improv at school since grade nine, and that's an amazing thing to do because it's terrifying. Um, and hilarious, and it's basically just a place where you get to play and move around like you did when you were little, but in front of people and with people that you can have a really strong connection with and trust a lot, which is amazing. I don't like to think about my future a lot. What I'm thinking right now is to get a business degree and a science degree um, because they're both, you know, things that I'm interested in and they can be applied in lots of different settings. I would like to be financially stable and independent, and then I'd like to continue pursuing like creative endeavors as well. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do anymore with that, but I would like to. I feel like anyone at my age feels pressure to do to make decisions. There's a little bit of envy in like you just know, and I don't. <laughs> what if I don't decide what I'm gonna do and I end up? going to school for many years not knowing, that kind of thing, but um, I am, I'm happy that I don't know and that I'm keeping myself open and I don't regret that at all. I have days for sure when I feel like sad and like I don't want to talk to anyone or like leave my house. Um, and sometimes it's nice just to do that. I think we all have those days. I know some people feel it more intensely than others. But I think it's like the fact that we sometimes block out the nice things people say to us. Like you'll have friends that are like, oh, I'm so happy you're in my life. And you're just like, whatever. But like, that's amazing that, and there's definitely gonna be someone out there who really appreciates having you there. I know things that help me feel better. Sometimes just crying is nice. I like to stare at myself in the mirror sometimes because you're like, oh, I'm like, no, I don't, I'm ugly. And then you look at the mirror and you can kind of manipulate how your brain perceives your face, I think. I'm not sure if this is true, but I believe it and that it does happen. So I'll just like sit in the mirror and I'll be like, oh, look at my face. Look at it become beautiful. And then you like appreciate. And it's probably just like you appreciating your beauty, but like I find staring in the mirror for a few minutes is like amazing. I would highly suggest it, but do it with a positive mind frame. Cause if not, you're doing the complete opposite and you don't want to be doing that. Sometimes it's cool to just talk with your friends. I have friends that are like, I feel horrible, whatever, and you're like, but I need you. You know, like, I like having you here. And, um, yeah, I think it's like, take a moment and really just let you appreciate you. Think about all the amazing things you've done, everything you could do in the future, everyone whose life you've impacted positively. Um, 
because you have. I think it's just a mindset of like, I'm worthless, I haven't done anything, but you have. You have done something. And even if it's something little, it could lead to something huge.